Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, here from HR Utilities. Hey, it's me, Ramit. Right, so today we're going to be talking about PCI and what it is. Yep, yeah, PCI is effectively how you would connect most items to the motherboard, which are not actually part of the motherboard, nor are they normally vital. For example, a Wi-Fi card is not vital, but it is preferable. Same as graphics cards or even sound cards if you're insane yeah i think the main port of pcie is for expansion you know you you put things into there which you want to add to your system um so pci pretty much has three versions you have the one link rate you have the two link rate and you have the 12 link rate now i'm pretty sure anyone can tell you that the 12 link rate is much much better uh, this is because um there's 12 lanes and what that effectively mean is Means means is that there's twelve more lanes where data can be um, transferred. So there's twelve more cycles that you can do uh, compared to the one link rate where only uh, one thing can happen at a time. So receiving and sending. PCI PCIe depends on which one. I'm pretty sure if I'm right correct if I'm wrong correct me on this. PCI is normal, whereas PCIe is express, isn't it? Yes. So yes. Yeah, that means that. Effectively, PCI and well, PCI E is smaller, more compact, and better for smaller motherboards. And but it also limits the things you can add to it. So, for example, you're not really going to want to put a graphics card that's four gigs dedicated on a PCI port because you won't be able to optimize the graphics card properly. Not necessarily. Um, all PCI ports are the same. It's the device itself that is PCI Express. So, for example, the connector is always 12 lane, but the device could be PCI, or normally graphics cards are PCIe. Yeah, and the thing is, another problem with PCI, PCIe is, well, they are limited. Now, I know that older motherboards are much less limited in their PCI, PCIe requirements and such, but problems with those would be they aren't able to sustain large amounts of RAM and such. So, really, if you want more PCI, PCIe, you're going to have to trade something else off. Unless, of course, you want to get a really large motherboard. Hmm. There, there are many things but, you can actually do with PCI. Indeed, yeah. Uh, the limits are potentially... In, well, it's limitless, really. Mainly because... <laughs> yes... I think my basic logic has gone. I really shouldn't have accepted that eclair from that person during concert. Uh, yep. Gotta cut Shut up. some of this out. So. Uh. So. Yeah. PCI, PCIe. Fantastic things. Quite limited. But. And I'm pretty sure this is fine. They can be quite helpful for people who record videos, for example, us. Yeah. Can you um, think of any? Re yeah, yeah. yeah. There's there's something called the Nvidia SLI. Um, crossfire for you ATI idiots out there. Um, effectively, what it allows you to do is link two graphics cards together. What this allows you to do um, is it pretty much allows you to harness the full potential of your graphics cards, allows allowing you to make it more efficient when using um, your PC. Something that laptop users know nothing about because they don't have any PCI ports. There are some which do, but the PCI ports are tiny. Well, they're more likely A to be PCIe, and secondly, well, they're just not very useful on a laptop. And anyway, if you want a proper future-proof laptop, then you just get a really powerful one. The thing with PCI is, is is that it's backwards compatible. So say you have um, uh, a one-way um, PCI card. That can fit in a 12-way port. So no matter what, as long as you have you know, a large connector, you're always going to be able to fit your devices as... Indeed, yeah. Mount. Yeah, so for the example, we're going to take my uncle's old computer again. 
this time, that's nice. Now, his computer had four PCI ports, but the thing is, they were one lane PCI ports. There might have been four of them, but really, they're terrible. And, well, that's the problem with with older ones. You can't, well, have... So, for example, if you have something optimized for 12 port, you're not going to get enough from a lower, le lower port. Yeah, so, effectively, all you guys really need to know is that PCI is good, it's fast, it makes your computer more efficient, and if you have the right stuff, you c it can make your computer more powerful. And not just more powerful, you can make it more useful. Yeah. That's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Um, if you have any questions about PCI or have anything for us to answer, uh, drop down in the comments. Um, guys, like some Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Goodbye. See you guys.